There. Ping. I mean, we've broken lots of engines, broken parts on a dyno, but never had anything like that. Alrighty. Just got done going like 598, 257 mile an hour. This is perfect. Huge money in paint. Perfection. Going to cut it off the car. Alrighty, right away here, uh, I asked for help and got help. <laughs> Local guys too, so I really appreciate everybody that, that uh, emailed me and offered to come help. I'm super appreciative. We're just upside down here right now. Uh, but this is Al and Dave, and they are within 10, 20 minutes of here. So it was just really nice worked out. They've been, Al's been here a lot because he's the... Uh, uh, tech center instructor for automotive program retired yeah yeah retired so he brought kids in here all the time and I gave kids the tours and showed everybody around and then Dave has been around and customer and has been in and out and he came I'd love to come in and help you perfect that's awesome then Al says hey I'd love to come in and help you perfect that's awesome I was very appreciative they were sitting here cutting stuff and outside of me coming in and going yeah that's cool that's all I've done on this thing so far. <laughs> so they're figuring it out. I'm grateful beyond measure. So very, very grateful. So they're going to be getting this thing all together. Uh, modified for the new absorber right here. So this is the old absorber. This is the new billet one that's been sitting here for about six months. Because I've not had any time to physically do all this work without taking away time from customer stuff. And I just got to try and desperately get customer stuff done. So... Probably the next thing you see will be, you'll see a little bit of uh, clips. We'll do a video on this entire thing with the new dyno and getting everything hooked up and all the, everything that the, uh, Dave and Al are doing here. So uh, thank you again. Now I had some questions. One of these questions was here. Uh, questions. Uh, yes, safety glass. Yes, I just ordered polycarbonate. Whoop, see that? Cool. Polycarbonate glass, 3 8 thick polycarbonate glass. And we're going to be putting that in on both dyno rooms. Uh, adding, I think we'll probably add drywall, or not drywall, add uh, plywood to the base around here. Or maybe, I don't even know. It's pretty obvious where the explosion area is, so I guess we could probably put it everywhere. All right, so this is my buddy Phil that's giving me a hand. He does a lot of fabrication and uh, welding guy. And a uh, buddy of mine, he just came over to give me a hand. So here we're fixing, and this is right after I took off the panel, and he's actually separating all the uh, spot welds and peeling off all the part that I just bypassed. So we can bend out and fix this whole taillight socket corner. So here he's cutting it all out, because this is all smashed, and we're going to replace this whole thing. Here I'm just trimming away, making it uh, more precise of where we want it to be. That ex new quarter panel that we're cutting off, the old one, is going to fit right over the top of that. This bottom body mount right here that Phil's working on was not bent or anything just scraped is all so you see we're over here working on I got my buddy Phil over here helping me out working on the wagon cutting the up and everything, and start fitting things and Billy Garrett calls me up and says hey I have a quarter a brand new brand new OEM G replace GM replacement quarter panel for that car and I'm like oh, holy mother and he goes for the driver's side. Ah. 
but they still need it for that side because we we're still gonna make this detachable but it would have been it would have been like absolute perfection if it would have been for this side and because you what you gave that one i sold the other one other side about two months ago so. about two months ago <laughs> should have crashed it earlier yeah what, I could have had two brand, brand new, new ones. Brand for, brand new. Still got the black paint on it. I mean, brand new. Sticker even. Yeah, GM sticker on it. That is Billy Bad Boy. Billy Bad Boy gear. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so, really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you much, sir. Thank you. So, we're going to get this thing. We'll weld up, get a fill and weld up the gas gas cap panel because they obviously don't have a ga uh, <laughs> gas, gas tank right there. But, uh, yeah, so this is still going to go directly on. I mean, it is, it is brand new, shiny, clean. It's awesome. Thanks, bud. Thanks. I appreciate it again. Me too. Here you see we got the uh, new replacement quarter panel where he cut the whole thing out because I wanted the window too, which it really works out well. And. Clarky told me that all we needed to do was take all the bolts out and then heat up that window seal and the window will pop out. Be a little ginger with it because I don't want to mess up the trim. Obviously don't want to break the window. Don't care about the frame around it right here because uh, that whole part's going to get all thrown away. And this is really light. I'm not like pry prying. I'm just giving it pressure while he's heating it. Because I don't, like I said, don't want to mess up and bend the trim. And lo and behold, this does work. You got to get it hotter than what you think. So as long as you're not hitting the glass, it seems to be perfectly okay. Obviously, I put, I did two of them. Though. Yeah, it's crazy how Clark knows stuff about body work. Maybe heat back up over here just a little bit. Is that? Somewhere over here. There you go. Oh. That freaking diggy dog. There's. Now, I'm gonna put that right there. Back. Mm. Not sure if that can all this. Well, I just hold it there. I'm not gonna bother make sure it all goes in. Actually, it's a little, it's a little bit off, but uh, it basically, is gonna go. There. Ping. Now, FYI. It's a bolt in and it's all on, you know, it's really is floaty. I don't think it's gonna have any problem, but I do have some more windows now. And uh, so I don't think there's gonna be any crackage problem. I don't think there's gonna be anything like that. Yes, this does weigh more. It weighs 10 pounds more than the Lexan. Actually it's eight. So eight pounds more with the trim and everything. So eight pounds more to have this with pink vent windows that latch, click, click, bing, for driving down the road. So that's gonna be much, much nicer. So that's kind of cool. And then I'll put the uh, trim piece in here, trim fill piece right here, which is different on the Buick Roadmasters. Turns out that this is a Buick Roadmaster deal. The child safety lock sticker. This child there? safety lock sticker is gonna stay on here. Cause it is, you have to pull that pin in order to get out of the back seat. Of course, I'm sitting in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, super cool. Yep, that's awesome. Really glad to take that out like that.
Yep, now we're cutting the panel off. Now here, uh, this first time around, I was uh, using a cutoff wheel and trying to just get this cut, which it does a fine job, but uh, ended up getting this really super cool pair of, or I'm sorry, nibbler that actually works like it's supposed to work from Snap-on. This thing is bad. I'll show you that later on the other side. But here we're just cutting this thing off. Cut the rest off with a body saw. And you can see here the spot welds are all drilled out. So we're separating it. And that's all separated. Now we're gonna cut the front side off. And I'm leaving this really wide because that's all gonna fit over. I'll show you this in a bit. So I'm trying to figure out where to make my cut at, where the very bottom of the seam is here. And that is right down here. See, there's a that's the that's the bottom bottom trim right there, or what would have been trim door door closes in like that, and there there's no trim right there anyway. So okay, so could I could go okay, could go all the way down the bottom of the oh, it does it goes all the way down okay. little bit of gentle prying and get this thing to pop up All right, so here we're prying it off of the old wheel well, getting this all off. So all of, all those are all drilled out. I'm gonna end up cutting this whole lip off anyway, so I'm not really worried about bending it or any of that other stuff. So this is all really fascinating to me because I this is just nothing I've ever done before. And so it's interesting to see how this all works.
right, everybody separated. Cool. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Things off. Now that little black piece down in the bottom is actually the big old stock spare tire well. So that right down at the bottom here, you'll see it again, that black shaped like a wheel. That's actually where the spare tire would ride in a stock car. So we'll clamp this thing on and start figuring out how this thing is going to uh, attach and with Zeus buttons and Zeus fasteners. So it's easy on, easy off, super, make this super quick, but super rigid still. But first you gotta clean this up a little bit, it's disgusting. And there you have step one. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with that. I got it off of there. So we're going to make this, you can see here, that's the difference in wood grain. OE, O Steve. Um, so anyways, we're just gotta make sure, uh, you know, we're gonna fix these so we're not welding these on permanent so now we're going to start working on i think we have it figured out how we're going to clip it all on the inside so clip it on the inside up here and it'll be zeus button zeus button zeus button zeus button then zeus button zeus button zeus button zeus button zeus buttons all the way up through there and oh i see right there look at that that is right on the spot okay and then here is actually, so that is actually like darn close to where it actually is going to be right there. Um, and I, now I got to go get the corner out of here. So this whole uh, corner right here, right, 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 all this is going to come out. I'm going to put this corner. Uh, yeah, at least... Well, the inside part of this corner, eh, it's complicated. I'm going to put some part of that corner in there <laughs> to mount everything all up. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking about it. It's, there's not a lot of structure there, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, i got to straighten this out here. Um, and like I said, that'll, it'll all, it's all going to work. It's going to put together. And then in here, I just got to trim this to the correct amount because this is going to go on solid like here and I'm going to have a Zeus button here 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 you know just have Zeus buttons all the way down here and then when you close the door uh, I can't close the door now because it's got this uh, sheet metal is hanging over the edge here because this is all part of the wheel well that is no longer there so but you would shut the door you would never see the you would never see the zeus buttons actually lines up fairly well right there that this is paint trim real trim uh wait it lines up oddly well i wonder why that lines up so well hmm uh, down at the bottom, it's not, but it's all screwed up down there. Uh, that one body line is a little bit low, but that makes sense. Okay, so that is pretty, that is pretty cool right there. I love it. Alrighty, so we are getting closer. Now, this is the side that is not damaged. Crying shame. This is perfect. Huge money in paint. Perfection. I'm gonna cut it off the car, but I am gonna reuse this fender. I have a new fender there that a guy gave me. Appreciate that. And uh, out there, I can't remember what. It, I'm sorry, can't remember what his name was. Uh, brought that up for me. Super nice people. And then I have a whole other quarter panel there. 
that I could use, but it just, I got to cut, I have to cut it off the car anyways. And it's like, you know what? It's going to be just as easy to just put this one back on as even to modify and cut that thing up. So, I mean, it literally will cut it off and uh, we're going to cut it right here, right at that paint line. And it's going to do the exact same thing as this fender is right now, which is, it just goes in right behind the taillight. So it goes right in, right in the taillight. It's going to shove in there. And I'll show you the mounting that we're working on here. So I got this done, or working on it right now. We have this nice little uh, plate system all the way through here. So you see that this is going to stay with the fender. This piece here that's Zeus buttoned on. And we've built these framework, basically, here, then up here. And I'm building the, this one right now. And then... It'll have these Zeus buttons right here, 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 here. Sorry, up there. And then uh, I got to build little tabs and going to have some buttons up underneath here. I'm going to cut this off today so it's a little easier access. And there'll be uh, uh, probably some kind of tabs or something welded to the inside of the fender up here. They'll come in that I can hit with a Zeus button. Um, uh, just figuring my way through that because I want it to be totally hidden. So it'll come up, the seam will come up underneath the window and then be fastened on up here, 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 here. Um, not probably th thinking I'm not going to put it fasteners here. Not quite sure yet, but it might because there's a fastener right here. And you can see over here. This is how the, the fender is going in. We'll trim this up and, and paint it and make it look super nice, but it'll be a button there, button there, button there, button there. So it'll be four buttons right through here and then a button down on the very bottom as we build the seam all in there. And then it'll just be nice, white and hidden and, you know, be all super cool. So that's pretty nice there. Um, and you see how the back is mounted you see how the bottom is mounted down there and all the way up the fender well. Uh, just working on this top up here, how that's gonna mount in. As you see, this one here rides back over the, the stock ledge. So it's holding it all on. And would have uh, some kind of, just gotta figure out exactly how that's gonna, you know, gonna have two tabs basically on a tab on the, a tab that's on this existing window sill and then a tab that's welded to the fender. Uh, then it would be Zeus button, the spring clip there. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna keep on trucking. Alrighty, just got done going like 598, 257 mile an hour. Got a good uh, street trim, so I gotta change the tires. So pretend the tires on there. So we do this, open up the door, Grab my Zeus tool. One Zeus here. Now, I don't have all the Zeuses in here just yet, but I'm just giving you the sample of what this is gonna do because I got the wrong spring clips. But anyways, one. Then I would open up my hatch, come back here. Gonna take out the bottom row of Zeuses. Like I said, I don't have all of them in yet because I got the wrong darn spring clips. The ones on the side that come in at the tail light. Everything's a little tight right now. This one up here. Sorry for all the shadows. I'm here videoing myself because the only time I got to work on this is in the middle of the night. We'll get this top one up here. Now I am going to have to uh, put the camera down. There's I'm gonna have more up here, all of them down here, around there. So I have one more here, one more here, one more there, just not there yet. So the fender doesn't just fall off. Let's go over here. Okay. 
They flirted. Ta da! All right, now I want to put the fender back on. Whoops. Without hitting that. Grab a Zeus. Close the door. Come in and put my other Zeus's on. So, not gonna take a very long time. Not at all. Right in behind the tail light. So the tail light is right nice tucked in this whole tail light bucket. Tail light never comes out, never gets disconnected. This seam just goes in right behind the tail light. Okay, light's pretty securely fastened in these cars anyways and uh, doesn't attach to the fender here. It only attaches here anyways. So nice, tight, comes in behind the tail light, comes up underneath the window. Oh, and then, gosh, it's hot. Let's open up the window. Bink. Vent window for driving down the road. Awesome. Bink. Flick, flick, locked. Super awesome. Lots of, lots of questions on the, why didn't you have a rev limiter set or anything like that? Well, I had a rev limiter set, but I'll explain to you and show you how fast this thing happens. So this was a, you can look at the graph here. All right. And this is our RPM line right here. Let me get rid of that fuel flow line. You can see the red line is RPM. The green line is TPS, so my throttle position. Now, it was right at full load, so this is fully loaded, 6,500 RPM, 6,486, and when the flywheel bolt sheared, it goes to instantaneous neutral, but this is not just like doing a neutral from idle. This is doing a neutral at 6,500 RPM. Now the RPM limiter is set at 8,500 RPM, all right? But what happened here is this is expanded out. So this is at 4.26 seconds. And within, bing, 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 4.42 seconds. So within 0.2 seconds, so 0.2, so two tenths of one second. The inertia, everything that's involved with this motor, it's like, whoa, just loaded down, just went, ping, and just shoots right by the rev limiter. The rev limiter's there. It never had enough time to catch it, even think about it. So that's two tenths of a second. It went from 6,500 RPM to 11,700, so 12,000 RPM in 0.2 seconds. That's why they blew the blower up. That's why all the damage in there. So, yep. Uh, the RPM limiter was there. RPM limiter can't catch that. Mm -hmm. Just can't. Just no, just the inertia just carries the thing past it. It was on, but at 0.2 seconds, it was it it just turned on and it was already there. I mean, there's just only so much you can do. That's just basic physics and <laughs> math of weight moving. So I uh, thought I'd answer that thing for you. Uh, so we're definitely doing safety glass and doing more things in the dining room to prevent this But like I said, this is the first time in 25 years. I've ever had anything remotely close to that happening I mean, we've broken lots of engines broken parts on the dyno, but never had anything like that So that was pretty crazy. Uh, any other questions you remember seeing? No one. I'm curious. What's your reaction time? 
Oh, oh what my reaction time is. Oh, okay, that's a good one. So this is me pulling back the throttle. So it was four point, or I'm sorry, yeah, 4.26, 4.26. And my reaction time on pulling back the throttle was 4.6, so four tenths of a second. So I pulled back on the throttle at four tenths of a second after I heard it rev up, which only took two tenths of a second. So I wonder what the math is for like brain reaction time for hearing it to actually being able to pull it. I don't know. Well, the math. I'd, I'd give you some snarky comment, but <laughs> I would just be kidding. <laughs> but uh, anyways. That's exactly what it is. So, yeah, I mean, that's a reasonable question. Four, ten four tenths of a second to pull back to zero throttle. I mean, the thing was still zinging down at that point in time. By the time I, yeah, it broke, jumped down to only 9,500 RPM and was angry there and then just coasted down. I mean, it was still, it was actually still running right through here. So yeah, it was still running after it blew up and did that whole deal. It, the engine was still running out here at seven seconds. Right about there is where it shut off. Uh, people were wondering what actually broke. Was it the dyno stopped and then kept going? Just the no, because the dyno still turns, everything's fine there. I don't think that the, that the dyno broke off of the stand first. Um, I don't it doesn't it doesn't put much load there the highest load point is at the flywheel and those flywheel bolts that's the highest load point it uh, the torque that is putting on the absorber uh, tr <clears throat> trying to move the absorber off the stand at that point is actually only maybe a thousand pounds or so um, not it's a lot but it's not a whole lot uh, so I think that it, I think for sure it definitely uh, did the flywheel bolts first. It probably, what it probably happened, it probably broke one, two bolts, and then all of a sudden it broke off the rest of them. I mean, it doesn't, it probably did not break all five at the exact same time. Something probably fractured, broke. They were tight because I had actually checked it. Tom had actually put it on and checked it himself too, um, the customer. Um, but, uh, very unlikely that it broke all five at the exact same time. It probably broke one, two, uh, something fractured and then then it just didn't have enough power or enough load to keep the other three let's say let's pretend it's three don't know because you know it's all blow apart would just break at that point uh, but they were tight it wasn't loose uh, they're all all of them are broken uh, the bolts can't come out because the, the the sandwich plate captures it so the bolts can't come out um, they could get loose but they weren't loose but they can't come out. Now, back over here to uh, cutting perfectly good parts off of cars. So you see how we do this other fender here, how it's removable. Everybody in the world should have a removable rear quarters. It is going to be so so awesome and so easy to do adjustments, shock adjustments, tire changes, everything. Not having to get under the car, really. I mean, it's it's going to be great. So <clears throat> I have to cut off this other side because I'm not just going to have one quarter panel that comes off. I got might as well. I got to do both sides. And <clears throat> because of that 20 inch wide tall or 20 inch wide wheel and how wide it is, I can't deflate it and get it to come out any longer without having to drop the entire rear end. That's why we got to do this whole deal. So you can see here, we got that one all done. We already have this one. I've not cut this fender off, but I built all the, all the uh, um, Zeus fasteners and everything there. It's not all permanent yet, but I built all of this. So everything's on, framed it all in. So all this whole tub work, everything's gonna all stay in place when we take it off just like it does over here and so that means a perfect and I mean a perfectly undamaged perfect fender I'm sorry perfect perfect quarter panel 
has got to get cut off. And I mean, this is this thing is shiny perfect, but I'm going to cut it off in such a way that I can reuse it. So I'm not going to end up reusing or I'm not end up doing the new one because I still have to cut this off. And it's like, well, heck, if I cut it off, why don't I just put it back on? It's, I think a long term story or long story short is it's going to save me a little bit of time because I'd have to cut this off and then cut that quarter panel all up to make it fit and do what I want versus just cutting this one off, doing it exactly the way I want, and then doing a little bit of addition to the windowsill here and it will just go back on like it's supposed to. So I'll show you how we're going to do that, but uh, it's basically the same as the other side. Holy cow, this little cordless nibbler is awesome. But it comes up to a spot right down here where there's the wheel tub and panel is there. So there's stuff there I can't get through. Oh, because the wheel tub is actually goes underneath here. So I just need to get on the other side of it then come over here but man that's that thing is slick i should have done that on the other side wish i would have had this then that is nice hmm. Well now, there you go. Uh, turns out, back in 2012, no, 2010, I think it was, believe it or not, in Orlando at the World Street Finals, this car used to be a radial tire, 10 inch, you know, a 315 radial tire car. That's when I first started racing it. Here's a picture. I hit, and it used to be orange and silver. I hit this, <laughs> this wall the left hand side wall back in 2010 with this car and uh there's some damage back here darn it and there's darn bondo in here but it's i'm not sure well i'm not sure what we're gonna do about that if we're so now i'm not sure what i'm gonna do uh if i'm gonna use this one or or just go ahead and make the new one make heckacious really nice wall art that's for sure but uh or it might still use it i'm i'm not 100 sure i guess i better ask uh probably have to ask clark because i know i mean i can mount it i can do everything but this whole corner back here i'm just not sure you know what that's all about and it's because that corner was actually gone and crushed in i'd have to make a new little rolled edge for this so i don't know Oh, might end up having to use that new quarter panel anyways and just keep this thing. But this is what it's going to look like on this side. So we're we're just rocking right along. The old machine's still cutting. It's going to be lights out here in a minute. 
Because it's like uh, 10 o 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock or something. And... Yeah, see, so I left this whole edge, which is nice. I can grind that all off, fix that up. And... Yeah, so that, that whole corner is still good. That's still nice. I like that. I cut quite a bit off here because I'm gonna, so what I'll do is I'll weld an edge in underneath this, which is what I was gonna do in the first place. And just a little lip right there. Uh, everything else is basically all gonna be the same. Uh, Zeus button, Zeus button, Zeus button. Hmm. So, pretty darn interesting. Gotta figure out what we're gonna do here. It'll be exactly the same as this side, uh, but I'm not gonna cut that whole fet other quarter panel apart just to get this side, since I have a whole brand new one right over here, along with the brand new front fender and the brand new rear quarter. Uh, but then I got then you got to do this whole deal, freaking. Uh, I guess that's not a big deal, but there's a gas cap that normally goes there. Obviously, it's not there. You know, this actually is not easy. This is not hard to cut up and do. I'm just going to put this on it. God darn it. I guess I'll just, uh, and it's brand new and nice, so. Yep, I'm going to use this. It's only cutting that part right through there. I guess, uh, looks like wall art. Shame. God darn it. Oh, my gosh. This is, let's look at it, man. It is just beauty in motion. Anyways, I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to get the other uh, on. You can see the rear windows. I mean, everything just is fantastically great right through there. That's going to be nice. I mean, the door's open, so that's why there's a gap there. Um, and then here, it's going to be got darn nice, too. So I am Steve Morris. Like, subscribe. Uh, don't forget Sugar Mama. That thing could be yours.